All right, guys, what's up? Logic Over Emotion coming at you with another video. We are looking at an article on TheHill.com. Uh, this article, Conservatives Blast Supreme Court uh, Ruling Roberts Abandoned His Oath. And so basically what this has to do, deal with is a uh, Nevada church that I guess wanted to block um, legislation that capped their, their congregation size. And so let's just dive into this article. There's a lot to talk about. I'm not particularly a religious person, um, but I do believe that people should be able to practice as they see fit. And I do think that religion should be one of the protected rights. And I think that things like uh, this stupid coronavirus shutdown stuff should not apply to places of uh, religion. And that's just my two cents on it. But let's go ahead and jump into this article. Conservative lawmakers blasted Supreme Court Chief uh, Justice John Roberts after he sided with the court's liberal wing in a five to four decision Friday that rejected a Nevada church's request to block the state government from enforcing a cap on attendance at religious services. Senator Ted Cruz tweeted early Saturday morning that Roberts had abandoned his oath. And here's the tweet. Uh, John Roberts has abandoned his oath, but on the upside, maybe Nevada churches should set up crap tables, then they could open. Um, you know, that's a really, really interesting point. I don't get why certain places deemed as not necessary can be open. And then things like church, we put limitations on, right? I, I mean, in my opinion, you can mandate a lot of things, but I think churches are one of the few things that you just have to, to leave alone. Um, I know that we want to believe that we have the right to invoke certain limitations on people because we're in a pandemic, but the Constitution, as far as I'm concerned, does not say that we should nullify any parts of the Constitution due to a pandemic. If I am incorrect, please show me in the comments where that's the case. The Constitution and the rights that it protects was written so that things like this cannot take our rights away. It made it explicitly clear what our rights are. And again, this just goes to show that in these times, the government is trying to test the waters and see how far they can get because we all know that at some point, the government is going to want to have more of a hand in religion, and uh, we need to do our best to keep their hand out of that. But continuing, what happened to that judge tweeted uh, Senator Tom Cotton, freedom of religion is our first freedom. Yet SCOTUS has ruled that, that casinos can host hundreds of gamblers while churches cannot welcome their full congregations. Justice Roberts once again Got it wrong, shamefully closing church doors to their flocks, Cotton added in a statement. John Roberts, at his hearing, if the Constitution uh, says that the little guys uh, should win, the little guy's going to win in court uh, before me. Uh, what happened to that judge? He didn't mention his belief uh, that casinos have more rights than churches. Good point. The decision strikes down a suit from um, Cavalry Chapel, Dayton Valley, which argued that it was being treated unfairly compared with other businesses in the state. While places of worship in Nevada have a hard 50 person limit amid the coronavirus pandemic, businesses such as casinos and restaurants can operate at half their fire code capacities. This discrepancy was a violation of the First Amendment, the church asserted in the suit. Now, look, my dad often talks about you know, the government and, and them trying to limit uh, religion, them really trying to do away with it all together. And, you know, when I see stuff like this, it, it, it makes me wonder, right? It makes me wonder because what I don't understand here is if every place else is using 50% capacity of the fire code, what is allowed under the fire code, why is it then that churches are treated differently? It does make you wonder. Defending its imposed restrictions, Nevada State stated that its uh, regulations didn't target places of worship unfairly, saying that other large gatherings such as concerts and movie showings were treated the same as uh, as are worse than houses of worship. The complaint made it it made its way to the highest court in the land after being rejected by district court and circuit court. Um, now, I would like to understand how they are being treated at the as the same. Do they have a hard limit 
like the churches and other religious organizations, or are they operating based on a percentage of the fire code? I, I, I think we would have to know that before we could make that call. The Constitution guarantees a free exchange, uh, excuse me, free exercise of religion. Justice um, Samuel Alito wrote in dissent. It says nothing about the freedom to play craps or blackjack, to feed tokens into a slot machine, or to engage in any other game of chance. But the governor of Nevada apparently has different priorities. And that's the point. You can clearly see that gambling, you know, uh, minus you having an addiction, <laughs> is not a necessity. And freedom of religion. I, I, I think that that's a necessity, right? Because I, I do feel like that literally keeps people sane in the times that, that we have today. And we all know that religion is very, very dear to, to people. Um, for many people, it shapes their life values. And they feel like they should be able to, you know, get together and, and do what they want to do. But when you see such blatant mistreatment here, like you have to do, you, you know, me even not being religious... You have to start seeing that you have one constitution or excuse me, you have one institution trying to overtake another. That's what I see here. Um, that Nevada would discriminate in favor of pow of the powerful gaming industry and its employees may not come as a surprise. But this court's willingness to allow such discrimination is dis disappointing. We have a duty to defend the Constitution, and even a public health emergency does not absolve us that responsibility, he added. And that is the point I was making before. Even having a pandemic does not mean that we simply destroy our freedoms, okay? Now, if we wanted to talk about things like necessity and not necessity, if we wanted to talk about things that are actually protected under the Constitution, if we were even going by our Constitution, then places where you gamble and do stuff like that should be closed and places like churches should be open. Now, you know how I feel about it. I think every place should be open. I think we should still practice the social distancing and, you know, if you want to do the mask, do the mask. But I feel like people should be able to choose for themselves. I believe that is the greatest freedom that we have. Um, this is the second time the Supreme Court has ruled against a church challenging a capacity restriction during the pandemic. In May, the court ruled five to four in a similar case, turning away a challenge from a California church. And yeah, so this is kind of sad. And like I said, of course, it's not shocking at all that, um, you know, you, you, you have this happening because like I said, the church is definitely going to come under attack, uh, because it, it is viewed as a strong institution. It is also an institution which, well, it really doesn't pay taxes to the extent that a for-profit business would pay. And a lot of people have a problem with that. And th this is the reality. Many, many politicians just don't make, they don't line their pockets from churches like they do gambling places and, you know, stuff like that. So clearly you can see that, yeah, I feel he, he did abandon his oath in this one. Uh, I, I feel like he made the wrong choice and, it's, it's kind of sad because I think that people who get in places of power really should try exercising their power for the for the right thing. And even and it's kind of sad because when you have someone like me who's not even really religious, who doesn't actively go to church or who, who doesn't believe, I guess, in the Bible as it is uh, written and interpreted by man. If I can sit here and say that the that that. People who practice religion should be able to get together because it is clearly um, protected under the Constitution. How is it that someone like me can reach that conclusion and you can reach a completely different conclusion? Someone who is a politician who and I don't know if this guy is religious at all or what, but I am kind of I am kind of curious about that. But anyway, you guys let me know. What do you think that churches are being mistreated? Uh, like, like I said in the article, this isn't the first time. And do you guys think places, gambling places and stuff like that should be open? I mean, what, what do you guys think? I would really like to know. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share the video. All right, you guys have a good one.